How's it going guys? My name is Poetry Stud and welcome to a short little guide. I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to show you guys, sorry, um, how to make thumbnails that look fairly professional and in a way that is free. Um, one of the hardest parts about YouTube is getting all this stuff besides the actual video, you know, the descriptions, the tags, and then the thumbnail. So the thumbnail, you know, it requires a bit of artistic creativity and uh, everyone has different ways, but one thing that lots of people who are younger, like me, can't afford is to pay someone to do the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys how to use some free programs online to make fairly decent looking thumbnails. And, you know, they're not necessarily the best, but they, they get the job done and they look fairly professional. Um, and they will attract, they're better than just having a screenshot from your gameplay. So, um, let's say that I'm going to make a, if you don't know, I do a lot of EU4, Europa Universalis 4 on my channel. Let's say I wanted to make a thumbnail of this game. So, first off, we need to find the base for our thing. So, normally what I do is, I um, when I make a thumbnail, I look for maybe like a logo or a, uh, a screenshot that kind of sums up the game in general. That'll interest people's eyes. So, let's see, if I'm going to do a guy, a uh, thumbnail, no, guide, not, this. that's what this is, thumbnail. If I'm going to do a thumbnail... Uh, of Europa Universalis 4. I look for, I just type in the name of the game, I go to images, and here we go. See, so like logo. Now, stuff like this I like because it's simpler. It doesn't have, when you go, when you see stuff like this, lots of it, you know, if you put text on that, it's not going to pop out at you. However, if you have something like this right here, you could see, it'll give it a second. Yeah, so you could see if you put your stuff right here, like your name of your channel and then the name of the series, you can fit that in and also it'll pop out off of that background if you use the right colors. So I actually already have this thing downloaded on my desktop, so I'm not actually going to download it. Normally what you do is you do save image as and you would put it into a folder or into, a, this is my folder, you put it into a folder or into a um, your downloads, you know, and you save that there. So. Um, that's how you get a good image. That's how I would recommend uh, going about looking for an image to use for a thumbnail. So now that we have our image, let's go to the program I'm going to show you guys about. I use a program called Pixlr.com. P-I-X-L-R. Um, it's a fairly simple program to use. It's free. It's basically like a cheaper Photoshop, and I would recommend it any day to someone who doesn't have Photoshop. And I actually do have Photoshop now uh, through my school, but it is um it's still a good program so you get to this screen and they're probably gonna update again in you know a couple months but it'll it, it should look something like this and you want to click on this arrow here this will take you down to another screen and you want to use pixlr editor on the left so it's gonna open there's some ads for hearthstone don't worry about it so now we're at the editor we want to say open image from computer and now i had some terraria stuff open let's go and open the image that we had downloaded it's the same one you know it just looks um it was just in a different spot because I already had it downloaded on this computer. So, let's say I'm, let's just make up a series. Let's say I'm doing the Dutch Conquest or something. Basically, it's, you can see, it's fairly simple. You have all your tools here. We don't really need to do anything except add some text. And that's actually one of my tips. Um, having done quite a bit on YouTube now over the past year or so, I've learned that just, you know, having the name in fairly easy to read text is a major part. So we want to, of course, have a text that is interesting looking. Um, I don't actually know the text on this new computer that I have very well, but um, this is for you to decide. You can download some custom text online. There's plenty of websites where you can get cool text that you like. I'll leave that up to you, so I'm just going to use a random one and say, let's say, Poetry Stud. Ooh, this is, uh, let's use a different one, and we'll make it bigger. That one looks cool, I guess. <laughs> Poetry Stud plays we'll just you know say that that's normally i don't i'm not actually i wouldn't actually call it this if i were going to do it but i'm just showing you guys the basics and then we can increase the size and we can change the color let's make it like blue or something uh blue blue please i don't know why it's not working oh that's why haha <laughs> i am dumb so let's say that we wanted to do it like this we say you know we can make a bold to make it pop out a little more uh, we could change the script and look at them. So, you know, you just pick something that you like, something that stands out, and something not necessarily too uh, fancy or anything. So I like this one. This one is kind of cool looking. Um, you know, it's not necessarily big enough, and there's only a, there's a size limit, but luckily there's a way to get around this. If you go to Edit, and uh, let's see, we got to make sure we have this selected. We go to Edit, and then we go to Free Transform. I believe. Did I click the right button? 
Uh, I believe I did. One sec, guys. I must have forgotten what I'm doing. Okay, guys, sorry. I figured it out. I had to take a second because to refresh myself because I haven't used this program in a while, actually. Uh, first, what you need to do is you got to click, right-click on the layer that you have the text on and click rest, Rasterize Layer. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced. Rasterize? Rasterize? Once you do that, it actually becomes an object that you can interact with, and you go to Edit and Free Transform. I was in the right spot. I just had it forgotten one step. So then you can make it bigger or smaller. Of course, you don't want to make it too big. Let's make it like right around that size, right? So... We'll put that right there, let's say. And we will say, yes, we want to apply the chain. Now, it's not really popping out, and I could probably change that by either, you know, changing the color of it, um, which we can't actually do now. You have to do this before rasterizing, which is one thing I forgot to say. Um, you have to do all the text changes before you rasterize it, because then it just becomes a layer. However, let's see what we can do. The one thing that I would recommend doing with everything is adding a outer glow. And what this does is it adds a little white glow and we can actually edit this if we go to here and this is one of the main one of the main things I would recommend you gotta I would recommend adding the size or the you know the different stuff but um I would say keep it like to a basic color like white and look at that that just makes it pop and it makes it look really really nice against that background it's uh, it's still a little even too big I would say just a nice little outline and you can do any colors you want I'm just doing this just because it um, you know, just for example's sake, I'm just making it simple, but look at that, it looks fairly nice. Um, the text might not be the best style for a game like this that has these bold European looking letters. This would be better for like Mountain Blade Warband or something, you know, some game of war and rags and riches. But either way, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and let's say I was doing Dutch Conquest or something like that. That sounds good for now. We'll do the same font just to, you know, keep it the same. What if we say that this one we want to be red? Let's just mix it up a little. How about? Does that sound good to you guys? Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. Remember, free transform after rasterizing. We'll make it a little bit bigger right about there. We want to just keep it simple. We don't want it to take over everything, but we want to, uh, you know, keep it here. And in fact, one, one sec, actually. Um... Let me make it a little smaller, and I'm going to tell you guys why. The reason why is because what if we want to put, like, the number of the episode in the corner, you know? That's something that lots of people do, and some people don't. Some people do. I do it sometimes. It just depends. But, um, yeah, so remember, we go now to Layer Styles, Outer Glow. We click on it to get the effects, the effect uh, menu. We can make it a different color. Let's make it white again, you know? It's, it's a good basic color, in my opinion. We make it harder so that it pops out more. It's a more of a contrast, and you know. And then we could add, you know, like number number one or episode one, something in this uh, in this side of the screen that we could add here to make it, you know, clear more clear what exactly they're watching, what episode your viewer is going to be watching, and um, you know, this can be a very nice little touch to add. Because they don't have to, especially if you have a longer title. If you have a longer title where they won't be able to see the number necessarily uh, right off the bat without having to hover over it and wait for it to show. This is a good way to make it so that your viewers don't have to wait for that. They'll be like, oh, this is where I was. I know because I saw the number. And look at that. There we go. It's not necessarily like the, the most professional thing. It doesn't necessarily have the most complex stuff. But it's very professional looking for something that was made in about two or three minutes. You get the message across, and especially if you use a more formal font, you can make it look very simple, but also it has all you need to know right there. You can also even bring in uh, new layers, and uh, you use that with this button. You can say open image as layer, and let's say I wanted to add uh, a flag if I had one. If I had a flag, uh, pretend that this, this is a Roman flag for Rome too, but pretend I wanted to add this in. Now I can take this, I can make this smaller obviously, and then I could Mm, a little too small. <laughs> then I could add this, you know, instead of maybe that one, you know, or I could put it in the corners smaller. Um, there's a million possibilities you can do, and it's all free. And that's one of the main benefits of this program is that you have this, uh, you, it's a free program, and you can make fairly complex stuff that, um, as far as like the amount of text and stuff that you have going on, and the colors and the effects, 
but it's still simple to make. And that is what I'm going to leave you guys with. Hopefully this helps you if you are a smaller person on YouTube trying to get big and you need some help with the thumbnail aspect because it is definitely a big part with uh, search engine optimization and drawing some people in and keeping people interested in clicking on your videos. Um, it's not necessarily the biggest thing and I would say, I always say, you know, just do the, what you love the most and that's the main important thing. But hopefully this helps you if you were looking for help. Thank you for watching this short little guide. Hopefully I have helped you. Uh, let me make sure uh, my recording is still going. Go ahead and uh, go to leave a like and subscribe for more. And thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, you can let me know in the comments and I'll try to help out. Goodbye.